Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today we are making crochet eggs. If English isn't your first language, you can click on this gear on the video and scroll through to find your preferred dialect. And this easy to follow step-by-step -step crochet tutorial is available in both right and left-handed, so please check the description box below to find the version that suits you best. These are great for Easter and also just super great for a play kitchen. These eggs work up so fast, it's just about as fast as boiling an egg. To make your crochet eggs, you'll need yarn. I'm using just regular four-weight worsted acrylic. The yellow is actually saver, but the rest are just scraps of regular four-weight worsted acrylic, or 10-ply if you're in Australia. I'm also going to be using a five-millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your end. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off, and let's get started. To make your magic ring, just lay that tail over your non-dominant hand and hold it down on your ring finger. Wrap the yarn around two fingers to make an X and bring it around that third finger, just holding it underneath your thumb as well. Turn your hand over and you will have a short strand and a long strand. Grab your crochet hook, hook side facing down, slide it underneath the short strand and on top of the long strand. Bring the long strand underneath and point the hook towards yourself, slowly releasing your thumb, turn your hook to point the hook away from yourself, and grabbing that long strand. You can pinch what's on your hook. Just give a little pinch, turn your hook, and bring that yarn through, and there is your magic ring. And chain two. One and two. Now we're going to be working right into the center of our ring. We're going to make 14 double crochets. Our chain doesn't count as anything in this tutorial. Now working into the center of our ring, taking care to go over that tail, we're going to make 14 double crochets. So there is one, two, three, you can pause the video and keep working along. 14 double crochets into the center of that ring. 13 and 14. If your tail gets too short, you can just give it a pull and it'll get longer again and you can keep working around making sure you are working over it to make those double crochets. So when you have your 14 double crochets, go ahead and pull that tail nice and snug and we're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet we made. So our chain doesn't count as anything. Our first double crochet is right there. So let's pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. And now before we get started, it's a good, a good time to just sew in that tail a little bit. We don't want it coming loose in the future. So just thread your needle and work it back under a few stitches. and cut it off. Now to start round two, chain two, one and two, and we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch. And the first stitch is right here, right where we did our chain. So one double crochet into each stitch. There's the second, we're gonna have a total of 14. So you can pause the video, keep working around, one double crochet into each stitch, all the way around, I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. If you want to follow along with the written pattern, all of my patterns are available on my website, secretyourunnery.com, and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. When we get back to where we started, this stitch right by the chain, that guy, we've already worked into it after the chain. So our last double crochet is right there. You can count your stitches, you will have 14. And we're gonna slip stitch in to the top of our first real double crochet to join. So not into the chain, into the top of our double crochet. Slip stitch to join. And that finishes round two. Thank you. 
to start round three, chain two. And we're gonna make one double crochet into the first stitch, so same spot as before, right by our chain. So pop your hook in and make one double crochet. And we're gonna make one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So a total of three double crochets, one into each stitch. And then into the next two stitches, we are gonna do a decrease. So we're gonna start a double crochet in the first stitch, leaving those last two loops on our hook. And we're gonna start a double crochet into the second stitch. So we'll have three loops on our hook, wrap and take off all three loops. So that is our decrease or our DC2 tog. Now into each of the next three stitches, we're gonna do one double crochet into each. One, two, and three. Into the next two stitches, we're gonna do a decrease. So start a double crochet in the first stitch, leaving those last two loops on your hook, and start a double crochet into the second stitch. So you'll have three loops left on your hook. Wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. Now into each of the next three stitches, one double crochet into each. One, two, and three. Now we have our one stitch left. So we're gonna start a double crochet into our last stitch, but leaving it on our hook. And now we're gonna start a double crochet right here, just to kind of make sure that our join is nice and full. So we're gonna start a double crochet into that stitch right there. And finish those together. And we're gonna slip stitch to the top of our first double crochet again to join right there. So slip stitch to the double crochet to join. And that finishes your third round. You can pop your egg inside out. And to start round four, chain two, one double crochet into each of the first three stitches. So the one right by the chain and the next two. One, two, and three, and then a decrease into the next two stitches. So wrap your yarn and start a double crochet, leaving it on your hook. Wrap your yarn, start a second double crochet into the next stitch. You'll have three loops, wrap and take off all three loops. And into the next three stitches, one double crochet into each. So exactly what we did in the last round, we are doing it again here. So three double crochets, one into each stitch. And into the next two stitches, we're gonna do a decrease. So starting our double crochet into the next stitch and starting a double crochet into the stitch after that wrapping and taking off all three loops. So now we have our two stitches left. So we're gonna make one double crochet into the next. And into our last stitch, start a double crochet, leaving it on our hook. And we're gonna go back into that same stitch by our chain right there and start our second double crochet. Just to really plump out that join wrap and take off all three loops together. And we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the first real double crochet to join, right there. So slip stitch to join. And that finishes our fourth round. To start round five, our last round, chain two, one and two, into the very same stitch, one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, a decrease. So starting our double crochet in the first stitch 
starting a double crochet into the second stitch and finishing them both together. Into the next stitch, one double crochet. And into the next two stitches, a decrease. So starting a double crochet into the first stitch, starting a double crochet into the second stitch, and finishing them together. So all the way around, we're going to be doing one double crochet and then a decrease. So a DC two tog, or start your first double crochet into one stitch and start a second double crochet into the second stitch and finish them both together. Into your last stitch, just one double crochet. And now we're going to stuff our egg. So pull your hook up, making a bigger loop just so we don't lose that stitch. And we're going to stuff our egg right inside there. So grab some hollow fiber or some polyester filling and just poke it all inside. It doesn't have to be really, really full. We just want to hold the egg shape. Just like that. So get that loop back on your hook. And now we are ready to slip stitch to the top of our first real double crochet to join, just like always, and chain one. Cut your yarn. We have to leave a long enough tail to close our egg. So pull your hook up and your yarn through. Snug that down to secure and thread your needle. So where your tail is coming from, I just go straight across and grab the other side and right kind of back through. These sharp tip needles really help. They're linked down below. They're a lot more secure than the blunt tip. It goes through the fibers instead of around them. And then just go from one side to the other side. Just grabbing that outer loop of yarn. until it is nice and closed up. There, just like that. And then when you have it closed, you're happy with it, just go and poke your yarn, your needle, all the way down through, just somewhere out on the side. Bring your yarn through, pull your tail a little bit, and cut off your tail. And there is your super cute egg. See, that took no time at all. Just as fast as boiling an egg, you can crochet one. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video up there. And stay hooked.